Welcome to the United States Navy eNavFit tutorial series. This tutorial contains audio narration. All information is current as of December 2022. For additional information, visit the Performance Evaluation section found within the My Navy HR website or contact the My Navy Career Center. Module 9 Intermittent Operations Appraisal Manager The recommended browsers for eNavFit are Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox for Windows users and Apple Safari for Mac users. Note that eNavFit will not operate properly when using Microsoft Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge in compatibility mode. The eNavFit interface can be accessed through the Bupers online web portal at www.bol.navy.mil. The downloaded appraisal manager is called the Fee Manager or Fitness Report Evaluation Manager and renders as an Adobe PDF form. This form allows a user to apply summary group level modifications offline while disconnected from the internet. The form cannot be used to apply signatures but allows for adding members, creating reviewer templates, and applying alternative signatures for the Raider and Senior Raider. The offline form will configure itself based on user inputs for the pay grade of those to be evaluated. It is important to fill in the primary input fields to ensure that the form provides the correct fields. A user can download a blank appraisal manager or an appraisal manager from an existing summary group. The following steps will display downloading from an existing summary group. Step 1. Select the Manage Summary Group tab. Step 2. Select the Active tab and open the desired summary group. Step 3. Select the Download button in the lower left corner. Step 4. Select the Enable All Features button if the banner appears. Step 5. Enter the Reporting Senior email into the Reporting Senior email field. Step 6. Enter the Reporting Senior DODID into the DODID slash SSN field. Step 7. Select the Dual Hatted button if the Reporting Senior is dual hatted. Step 8. Select the Summary Group pay grade using the drop-down menu. Step 9. Enter the Reporting Senior name into the field as last name, first name, middle initial. Example, Smith, John, M. Step 10. Enter the Reporting Senior grade into the grade field. Step 11. Enter the Reporting Senior designator into the designator field. Step 12. Enter the reporting senior title into the title field. Step 13. Enter the reporting senior UIC into the UIC field. Step 14. Enter verify the reporting senior DODID populates in the DODID SSN field. Step 15. Enter the ISIC address into the ISIC address field. Step 16. Enter the reporting senior phone into the reporting senior phone field. Step 17. Verify the reporting senior acknowledgement is displayed. Note, this information will only appear if the form is downloaded from an existing summary group. Step 18. Select the Continue button to save and enable the form. Note, users must use the Continue button to render the form correctly. Step 19. 
select the Templates button to create a reviewer template. Step 20. Select the Add Template button to add a new reviewer template. Step 21. Enter the desired name for the reviewer template. Step 22. Select the OK button to close and save the reviewer template name. Step 23. Select the Template link to rename an existing reviewer template. Step 24. Select the Add Reviewer button to add reviewers to the reviewer template. Step 25. Enter the reviewer email into the email field. Step 26. Enter the reviewer DOD ID into the DOD ID field. Step 27. Enter the reviewer name into the name field as last name, first name, middle initial. Example, Smith, John, M. Step 28. Select the reviewer user role from the type drop down menu. Note, Reviewers without the user role should not have a user role type. Step 29. Select the View Edit File folder to view and modify the summary group information. Step 30. Summary group data fields will be used to populate all reports in the summary group. Step 31. Select the NOB dropdown to apply an NOB summary group status. Step 32. Enter the UIC in UIC Block 6 field. Step 33. Select the designator from the dropdown menu. Note, this field will only appear on a fitness report summary group. Step 34. Select the Duty Competitive status from the drop-down menu. Step 35. Select the Promotion status from the drop-down menu. Step 36. Select the Summary Group End Date using the Calendar Creator drop-down menu. Step 37. Select the Report Type from the drop-down menu. Note will only appear on Fitness Report Summary Groups. Step 38. Select the Billet Subcategory drop-down menu. Step 39. Enter the Command Employment and Achievements into the field. Note, deviations within the Summary Group for Training, or TAD, will be added at the report level. Step 40. Select the Add Report button to add a member to the summary group. Step 41. Enter the DoD ID into the field. Note, verify the DoD ID. Manual personnel inputs are not verified online at this time. Step 42. Enter the name into the field using the last name, first name, middle initial format. Example, Smith, John, M. Step 43. Enter the member email into the field. Step 44. Enter the UIC for the member. Step 45. Enter the member grade slash rate in the field. Step 46. Enter the designator, if applicable, into the field. Step 47. Select the OK button to add the member to the summary group. Step 48. Select the Start Summary Group tab. Step 49. Select the Upload button to return the summary group to the interface. You have completed Module 9, Intermittent Operations, Appraisal Manager of the eNavFit tutorial series. For additional information, visit the Performance Evaluation section found within the MyNavyHR website 
or contact the My Navy Career Center.